cataractcoach.com into SM cataract chop technique and then single-handed removal of the nuclear fragments. Let's check it out together. It's a good case. We love white cataracts. That's our favorite. Now, you can see certainly a white cataract. That, I'll give you. Here comes one paracetesis. Okay, that's a good start. And then now, let's see. I'm watching the video for the first time with you. Here's a second paracetesis. That's also a good start. So maybe we'll do some bimanual IA here on this case. Very reasonable. And now holding the eye with that and starting to make the main incision with the keratome. And let's see, that looks pretty good too. So you got a nice main incision and you got two pairs of these, three incisions. How about a little tripan blue dye? There it is. With an air bubble technique first. I like that technique as well. Beautifully done. Hey, now let me tell you about retinarounds.com, our new site. You're going to love it. It's our sister channel. New retina video every single day. It's meant for retina specialists and also for general ophthalmologists and cataract doctors like you and me. You're going to learn so much. You're going to love it. Check it out. Now, here we go. We've diluted down the tripan. Here comes the viscoelastic. Probably looks like HPMC with that 25-gauge cannula, larger cannula there. And now let's see the rexus poking in here in the center. And let's see a little bit of intumescent fluid, probably not too much. Is there much lens milk? No. Well, this is a nice way. By poking in many times here, you're kind of giving it a release path so you don't get any radialization. That's a nice technique here. You know, doctor, I like that. Thank you for sending that in. Now, Starting off with the grabbing with the forceps, get that rexus done, done, done. Very nicely done here. Nice round rexus. I like the technique. And we'll complete that. Now, the nucleus removal here is going to be the fun part. Again, remember, my, my favorite of all is a white cataract. That's like part of the reason I went into ophthalmology was when I was a young medical student, I saw that white cataract being done, and I was amazed. What an amazing procedure. And now, how many years later, I still love it. Wow, that's a beautiful looking Rexus, by the way. Now, coming in here with the FACO probe, here comes the chopper on the other hand, a ball tip chopper, so probably a horizontal chop technique here. Let's see the technique. And chopper going around the equator. Okay, spinning the nucleus around. And now, let's see, buzz with the FACO probe. Buzz, 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 buzz. And let's see the chop. And there's a nice chop. Propagate through that through a little bit. Rotate, let's see, chop again, maybe. Okay, so you're going to get a quarter, about 90 degree rotation here. Here's another chop, and looking good, uh, almost. Pretty good, rotate, rotate, rotate. And let's see, okay, chop again. So the surgeon's doing a beautiful job of a lot of chops. So look at that ball tip chopper for horizontal chopping. You're not going to do a vertical chop with this, I promise you. Now there's the horizontal chop. If you don't know the difference between vertical chop and horizontal chop, and you're a young surgeon, just go to cataractcoach.com. Get off YouTube for a second. The actual cataractcoach.com website. I say it every video, right? Cataractcoach.com. It's on the bottom of your screen right now. Copyright 2025, cataractcoach.com. There's so much great material there for you. All of these things are explained to you. I am teaching the entire world of eye surgeons all the secrets. There will be no more secrets in cataract surgery or anterior segment surgery after me. I'm giving away everything. Do not worry. I'm here to share. Now, look at that. All the nuclear pieces have been chopped up, and now the surgeon is using a one-handed technique here to just remove the pieces. So it's like you slice the pizza up into eight pieces, and now you're just taking out each piece of pizza. I've been known to wolf down a whole pizza, too. Don't, don't tempt me. <laughs> no. Take out this little cataract piece here. Again, still, in a case like this, honestly, I still want my other hand inside the eye. I just would. Because if I have my other hand of the eye, I can kind of feed the pieces in here. I can keep the posterior capsule at bay. Eh, just, I just like But you know what? In this surgeon's hands, look at that. One-handed removal. Pow, pow, pow. Done. Beautiful. Look at that. Now, let's clean up that cortex with the IA probe. And we'll get the lens in the eye. So, again, here's the bimanual IA. Nicely done. Cleaning that up. Now, in the, it's interesting. In the U.S., bimanual IA is not real common. I think... The vast majority of surgeons in the U.S. are using a coaxial IA system. Whereas in other countries, you'll notice that it's a lot more common to use a bimanual IA. Now, here's an advantage of bimanual IA, by the way. Look, the left hand is just the infusion. So this is hydro-implantation. The left hand infusion is filling the bag with BSS, and then the right hand is injecting the IOL. It goes right in the capsular bag. So you don't need an extra viscoelastic here to inflate the bag. That works great. Get that lens dialed in. Fantastic. Again, whatever technique you want to do, you go for it. And I think you're going to have a great time. Now, finishing up the case here. Let's see. That looks good. 
Wow, it's a beautiful looking Rex. It's about a five millimeter Rex, a six millimeter optic. Very nicely done. Anyway, the rest of the case is routine. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. And of course, check out retinarounds.com, our new stuff. I promise you're going to learn so much, you're going to love it.